Hello guys, in this video I'll show you how to make the cheapest $30 beta flight drone that have brushless motors. It's good for casual flight. You need ESP32, MPU9250 and buying a ESC and BLDC motors will obviously going to be expensive. So the best way is to extract from a toy drone. You can buy any toy drone as long as it have a BLDC motor. The BLDC motor look like this. I'll be using the same 1S battery and the frame of the toy drone to make a beta flight drone. Now after you buy the drone you will also get this box. Now inside it you will be getting this screwdriver. So use that screwdriver to open the drone. Inside all brushless motor drone you will find the ESC which we need to connect with our beta flight flight controller. After you open it, you will see this PCB. This is where the flight controller and usually the ESC is situated. Take out the main board and look for the ESC. If the ESC is situated on the main board, it will be usually in a castellated module, which means you will see a small PCB on top of the large main PCB. Because we are having 4 BLDC motor, that means we will be seeing 4 small PCBs. This was the case of my more expensive toy drone. But in here, you can see there is no small PCB on top of the main PCB. That means my ESC is not with the main board, it's hidden inside the arm. Open the arm and you will see this PCB. This is the ESC. So each ESC is kept inside each arm. In here there is 4 wires, red, black, white and transparent. Usually red is positive, black is ground, white is signal for motor control and transparent wire is for the LED. If you are uncertain about the wire, you can connect a fully charged battery and turn on the drone. You will see 4 voltage or 4.2 voltage. On connecting multimeter to the ESC's red wire to positive and black wire to ground. To check the signal wire, connect the white wire to the positive and ground to the black wire. You will see voltage around 2.9, that is the signal voltage. So for me, there is no ESC on main PCB, so I'll just remove it. If you are having ESC on main board, then you should watch my old video. I'll be connecting like this to check the BLDC. As you can see, it's working fine. To make it cheap, I'll be using ESP32 flight controller. If you want to make your own ESP32 flight controller, you can watch this video. Now I'll be cutting the 4 pin connector and connecting the positive and negative together. You may need to add additional wires to get the right distance to the battery. This is the wiring for ESP32 flight controller. This is the ESP32 flight controller. So I'm only adding MPU 1650. But I don't recommend you to use the MPU 6050. Use the MPU 6500 or MPU 9250 at SPI. I'll be placing the arm back to the frame. 1S battery can't provide direct power to both ESP, so I'll be using this boost module to power both ESP. You need to calibrate the boost module to 5 voltage output. I used to 38 pin ESP32. You don't need to use that. You can use the smaller one. I don't have enough space to pack them all in so I'll be cutting the top plastic for a receiver you can use any receiver but I'll be using ESP now based receiver which I made on this video if you don't have drone controller then you can make a phone as transmitter Make sure you connect the motors correctly and set the motor protocol to PWM. So after I fixed all and uh, this is where the issue happened. I was uh, having MPU 6050 wired at I square C because the noise from the boost module powering the ESP 
you should not use the I2C because the MPU6050 will get disconnected on connecting the battery. So you need MPU6500 or MPU9250 which has SPI connection. So this is the final drone and you can see this is uh, now using the MPU6500. I think you should not use the MPU6050. Uh, uh, let's check uh, how good it is. And it just works. I have uh, set it on the beta flight default BAD values. And I think I should change that. That was the thing. Now, obviously, you can't use the original transmitter that comes with this drone. It's very good looking, but what can we do? We have to use your. Uh, actual transmitter this is the cheapest one i got and i'm using the esp now based uh, transmission the p and i value is kind of messed up so i fixed it these are the updated pid values After some calibration, it flies very well, but uh, because the battery is only 1S, the uh, throttle is uh, much harder to control, so it's, it's not snappy enough. If you just want to fly, it's going to be okay, but I don't think it's going to be good for freestyle. And uh, as you can see, the frame itself is uh, compact and very good, it's strong enough. So I moved the throttle to maximum, which is 2000 PWM, but and I also moved the pitch to forward. And as you can see, the drone did not climb and uh, hit the ground, but still the drone was fine. Maybe changing the max PWM from 2000 to 3000 may fix it. I don't know. I didn't try that. Are we making more exciting videos? I was thinking of making a helicopter. Uh, maybe I'll try to make that on the next video. I hope you like my video. Please uh, consider to subscribe and uh, give a like if you like it. And uh, thank you for watching.